here's one last thing. Okay, I got a measure from the stucco on down to there. Remember? And, and it's really hard to do that when you're when you're running your tape measure. Let's see if I can't show you this. When you're running your tape measure into a corner, you know, it's hard. It, it's hard to see exactly what that measurement is. So that's why I say, when you look on your tape measure, and on this one it said, it said plus three and a half, and I saw it right in here. And some of them are plus three. I've seen some of them smaller than that, depending how how big your tape measure is. This one happens to be a 30 footer. You can get 10, 12, 16, 20, 25 foot, 30. I, I think I've even seen some uh, longer than 30, 30 feet. But in any case, this was three and a half inches. So, so I'm, I'm doing a measurement up there and it was 42 and a quarter. If I pushed it right in the corner and I hit the wall at 42, and a quarter to where I could see that and then right at that point I can add three and a half inches because I know the tape is right in the corner so that was 42 if I look at 42 and add three and a half 42 43 44 45 and a half plus a quarter is 45 and three quarters and I know that is what the, the measurement is 45 and three quarters and that and that will will fit between the stucco and the wood 45 and three quarters I even wrote it down there 45 and three quarters okay so that's how you get inside measurements sometimes and you could you can guess too when you put your tape measure in the in the corner and um, You'll get good at starting to read measurements that way too. But there's your tip for the day. You know, I thought I was gonna rush through this and get all of this flooring done today, but I'm glad I, that was probably the most important hour and a half or so, however long it took me um, to figure out these angles here and to raise that and to figure this all out. and, and and all my steps, my thought process, that's the most important part of this entire flooring project, okay? Had I not walked through it and figured all that stuff out, I'd be in a world of hurt, especially, you know, I would, I would have sealed the floor up as best I could, but the, but the water still could have, uh, would have obviously come out of the weep holes I'm gonna still make the weep holes and drill holes bigger and make the make the holes bigger here and lower these holes along the flashing there and do all that kind of stuff but I still probably would have had issues later on down the road having too much water go going down the stairs I mean I'm still gonna seal the stairs could the water boom 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 go down the stairs yeah it could but eventually it's gonna find its way in down to here creating some more mold creating some more uh, mushrooms creating some more dry rod issues and all that if I'm not up to checking it all out recalking repainting every year instead of every three or four years whatever and I'd still have some water some water issue areas okay but I feel way more comfortable now adjusting my lines adjusting my ledger boards and doing all that. I'm still going to tie the floor in properly when I get up there uh, to do the uh, the membrane and all that. You will, I'll show you that later. But the main thing right now is now that I've got everything figured out, I can I can finish this up. But you know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna probably put that one board up there and I'm gonna call it a day. I'm I'm glad I've got at least this far. Okay. So that's all I have for this time. But I'll be back with more videos. You gotta watch the rest of this series. I'm telling you, I'm hoping anyways that you're learning a lot of stuff from Joe.